Hi guys, Nancy here from Loombitious. Welcome to part 2 of the Doberman Puppy. Let us continue. Make sure your loom is set up in this position, a rectangular shape. And let us continue with the body. You need two black bands at a time and a couple of caramel, but follow me. And he or she will be awesome. So we're going to do one half of the body, two bands at a time. You need to fill the entire top row with two bands at a time until you reach the end of your loom. I'll keep a, grab a couple of bands here, although they might disturb you a tiny bit. But that's better for me to show you guys this way goes a little bit faster so two bands at a time fill the entire top row now place two diagonally down from the second peg like this and fill the entire row in the middle with two black bands at a time it'll be a bit bigger than the rest of the pups I did already I can hardly see my design the camera is in front of my face but otherwise, you guys can see what I'm doing, so that's more important, I guess. Two down diagonally. And not this row, that one is broken. We will add a couple of caramel here. At the bottom row. This one is also broken. Now grab your caramel bands also two at a time. Two there and two going upwards. If I can get a hold of them. Yeah. Like this. This will be the body. Now grab a single caramel band double loop here as horizontal bands and grip a single black band and double loop here as horizontal bands the rest can be with two black bands at a time stretched out over all three pegs there we go And of course, opposite side of the body, the other half will need to be mirrored. I can actually kind of show you a trick, I guess. If you have trouble mirroring and you have two looms, otherwise you can't do this, of course. I'm adjusting my other loom. I will show you a trick how to do this. I learned this way because I had trouble mirroring things in the beginning. Um, well, now you need to mirror it, but you can start on the top. You actually start here. Make the same pattern, but mirrored. If you do it like this, it's, well, I think it's better to see what you need to do. I will show the other half of the body, but this is just to show you if you have two looms and you have trouble mirroring, this can help you out. Can you see what I'm doing? You have to make it yeah, mirrored, but you can actually see better what you need to do. So that can be helpful 
if you have trouble mirroring things. Uh, anyways, we're doing this half of the body now. Push down the horizontal bands. We're going to place two. Well, no, we're going not. No, we're not going to do that. Grab your legs first. One back leg, one front leg. We're going to start with the back leg. That needs to be attached here on those three pegs. So have it like this. A thick part of the tie will face to your left and the paw will face to your right. I'm gonna stick my hook through the set in the center and I will attach it onto this peg. Like this. You actually can't do this wrong. As long as the thicker part of the tie <coughs> is facing to your left. Like this. Now we have to do the front leg, of course. That one will be attached on this peg and this peg. Also the thicker part to your left. But try to see what I'm doing. And if you did dogs with me before, you know what to do. Stay around there. Yeah. Now we attach this side of the leg. You, do, you don't have to remove your tying bands. But you can, obviously. So... We've attached the legs. Now we're gonna grab the head. I will turn my loom for this, like this, so you can see. St have the head right side up. The dog is looking at you. Stick your hook through, set in the center. Do not remove this tying band. We will need it again for the other half of the body. Now only attach the left set to the peg next to it. And that's it, so it's right side up and attached like this. Now we're going to place some loose bands on the top row. That's to stitch the bag together. <coughs> Two bands at a time, so it will work better when stitching. to here. So place all those loose bands and leave them there. Turn your loom and follow me. Go behind the neck here. Grab only the bottom two and loom across. We're going to loom this row first but not entirely. Forget about those loose bands. Loom past them. Only grab the bottom two loops each time. Am I off screen? I'm not checking. Well, not totally. You can't loom the entire row yet, but I will tell you when to stop. Stop here. So don't loom any further. Now go and grab those two caramel bands. And loom across. This tying band can actually be removed. So that one is gone now. Now we're going to loom the bottom row. Or the row to your left. Lift up that leg so you won't loom over the leg. Then let go. And continue looming. And also loom the last set diagonally here on this row. Also lift up this leg. And loom that set diagonally. You might need to push down. 
a leg, a tiny bit. Continue the row in the middle here. Only grab the bottom two bands each time you loom. This is kind of tricky and difficult sometimes. Especially where the legs are. There are a lot of bands there. That's only one. Loom upwards. Only grab the bottom two with the leg part and loom upwards diagonally. And now we can continue the last two sets here. Grab a single band and tie off. This will be a tiny part of the tail already. But not entirely yet. And carefully remove this from your loom. I simply can't do it that way. It's way too tight. Why can't I pull off my work from my loom? It's supposed to work that way. Oh, I have a loose band here. I can't do it this way. No, I will remove it with my hook. Now, remove this from your loom. This will be one half of the body. Pull outwards all those loose bands. Pull them upwards. Where are you coming from? Oh, I used a broken band there, but it's fine. So pull them outwards, all those loose bands. Like this. And now we're going to do the other half. So, follow me, two bands at a time again. Fill the entire bottom row now with two black bands at a time. Part one is already actually uploading, but will be online first, of course, so I will have to upload this one. But when you hear these, they are both uploaded, of course. Diagonally. Up this time instead of down. And fill the middle row entirely with two bands at a time. And this dog will have a very tiny tail. Not too tiny though. They're not as tiny as the English Bulldog. And now we need to go diagonally up again. Don't forget about those caramel bands. We also need to place the same mark here. So you will see that on the stomach, on the bottom part. So grab two caramel bands, place them here. And place two going up. Grab a single caramel band. Double loop it here. 
and a single black double looped above it. The rest will be with two bands stretched all over the pegs. So these are two black bands all the time. Except the last one. That need to be a double looped single. So grab a single black band, double loop it. That's about it. Now grab your no 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 grab your back and front leg. I'll turn my limb for this. Have your paw face to the left this time and a thicker part of the tie to your right. You need to attach it around these three pegs. Exactly the same as the other half, but mirrored. So that's attached. Grab your front leg. Always also have the thicker part to your right this time and the paw to the left. It's supposed to be like that. Doesn't matter how or which set you attach first, needs to be attached on those two pegs here. Like this. Now grab the other half of your dog, have it right side up, and stick your hook through that same set in the center where I told you not to remove the tying band. Stick your hook through there and attach it right side up around this peg. And now you can remove the tying band. We don't need it anymore. You don't have to reattach it anywhere else. And attach the set on your right to the pack, on your right, right next to the pack, where we attached the same set. I missed a band. Yay, got them. Like this. So it's attached right side up. Let us start here. Grab those two caramel bands. And loom to your right. Going to do the bottom row first. Simply loom past that leg. Try not to grab any horizontal bands. Also loom up diagonally. And we're going to start in the middle. Only grab the bottom two bands. This is kind of tricky. Don't rush yourself. You don't have to rush. You can take your time. When I simply just loom something or designing something, I always loom them first. And after that, I make adjustments without looming. But I always take my time. It takes me days to think of something and looming. 
So I'll loom past those legs there. Grip those two diagonally bands and loom. And loom this row entirely. And then we can actually sew the dog together. Yay! And then we will do his tail and attach the stomach. Sorry if I'm off screen, but I'm simply looming upwards everything. Grabbing a single band to tie off. Carefully remove this from the loom, this half. always get stuck with me. Also when I use my hook upside down trying to get it off it will still get stuck behind the pegs. But this works too. But might be kind of annoying to watch me do it like that. So this is one half and this is one half. You have to put your dog upside down. But we have that set, that set here where I told you guys not to remove the tying band. That set is here. There are two halves are coming from that two stitches. You need to stick your hook through this stitch from the side. So you have four loops around your hook. Then you're gonna grab those two loose bands there and pull them through and hold it on your hook. Go through the next set below it and grab the next two loose bands and pull through everything and hold it on your hook. Repeat this until you don't have any loose bands anymore. So each stitch, pull it through each, each stitch. Try not to skip any. This is also kind of tricky. If you know what to do, it's easy, but take your time. You don't need to rush any of this. Go through each, each stitch from the side, grab those two loose bands and pull it through everything. Until you are at the end. I have one more to pull through. That's a single band for me, but two for you. One of those bands did break, but that's fine. So you have uh, two bands left. Stick your hook through some random bands here at the inside of the dog. Pull it through. And grab a C clip so it won't come out of the body <coughs> and be secured that way. Ta da! There we have. Look like, looks like he's waving. <laughs> well, um, put this aside for now. Grab your loom again. Now I do need to check.
I'm sorry, I'm checking. That's one, two, three. What did I wrote down? Oh, there. Yeah, that's correct. Yeah, grip um, a single black band, double looped. Grab another single black band, double looped. Now grab two. This will be the tail. Another broken band. And now grab three black bands. This will be the tail. That's it. Grab your dog. Have it right side up. Carefully remove those tying bands. But make sure sure you hold it so it won't fall apart. Stick your hook through the top two loops here. And grab these. Then grab the bottom two on the right and the bottom two on the left. So you have all loops around your hook. I'm sorry, I thought I was off screen. I will do this again. I remove my tying bands. So it looks, <coughs> it will look like this. I have two loops here on my right. So I will stick my hook through there. Two loops on my left. Two loops on the right again at the bottom. And two on the left. So I have eight loops around my hook. You need to attach it onto here. Most of the time I do two loops at a time to get it around there and the final two loops so there we go attached around that peg right side up now we need to grab the bottom three bands this can be tricky take your time and loom upwards Make sure they aren't twisted. Loom those two. A double looped and another double looped. Grab a single black band. Tie off. Make a slip knot. And remove the tail from the loom. And now we're going to zigzag this tying off bend into the tail. So go through a stitch, grab that bend. Don't pull too tight. <coughs> then go through the next stitch from the opposite side. And kind of weave it through there randomly it doesn't matter you, you can hardly see this and I don't think we can stretch it that far or well, we can but that will look weird so I'll just maneuver it through some bands there so you can hardly see it. This will be the tail. Very tiny. Well, all there's left to do is stitching the stomach. So grab your stomach. It does curl a tiny bit. So you need to hold it well with the curve towards you. So I have it like this. I'll show you like this. It's curving like this. And we will attach it like this. So I have it like this, attach it like that. That long piece, that extra piece will be the, in the neck. This will be kind of hard to see for you guys because it's black. If you can't see what I'm doing, it's exactly the same as all my other dog breeds. Um, you might want to pick a lighter dog. You can see how I do this. Um, we need to pull through all those loose bands through the stitches on the side of the dog. Going to start here. Well, where am I going to start? 
kiss in the neck. I'm going through some horizontal bends here in the neck. If I can reach it. Doesn't matter which one. Pull through that single bend. Like this. The rest will need to be pulled through stitches on the side. So, actually, the same thing as sewing the, the dogs back together. I also need to check here where are these bands coming from. And it doesn't matter if you skip one or forget one set. It really doesn't matter. As long as you approximately attach it. I do have to check now. So many loose bands here. Is this the next set? Yes. So go through the sets from the side and grab those loose bands, pull them through each stitch. Well, not each stitch, depends. So if you skip any, no problem. That will be fine. As long as you have it approximately where it's supposed to be. Try not to grab any horizontal bends here when pulling it through the stitches. And if you think, hey, I uh, miss a set or there's something wrong, I want it more, um, more down or more up that stomach, just remove it and place it the way you like. Again, I have two bands there. How is that possible? Where's the band coming from? I have no clue. What is that band? I really have no clue where that band's coming from. Ah! It was a horizontal band. So be careful not to grab those. But you can easily grab them. <clears throat> this is something that takes time. If you want to do this neat and correctly. And if you do skip a set, that's totally fine. Or if you do miss a loose band, it's totally fine. Try to pull through as many bands as you can. I do have to check here. What is this? Are you from that side? I guess. The one at the rear needs to be approximately in the center of the tail part. At some point here, but like I said, it doesn't really matter where you pull it through. As long as you pull it through some bands, that, that band at the rear, I'm totally pulling back. Like this. Now I have to grab that tie off band from the tail. I pulled it out. I don't want that. I want that to be inside the dog. If possible. That would be awesome. 
are kind of like this. Now we need to do the same thing on the opposite side. But this will be a little bit tricky. Because you don't want to pull it out of the other side. So you might, when you get to the tummy, you need to squeeze your dog together. So it won't come out of the other side. The neck doesn't really matter. You can pull it through there with with these. And it really doesn't matter if you skip any or forget a band. Just clip it off if you do. Now you do might need to squeeze your puppy together like this. Otherwise you can't manage to pull this side through. And exactly do the same thing. I have a horizontal band there around my hook that I don't want. It's hard for you guys to see because it's black. But if you really don't get what I'm doing, which you probably are, you can check uh, a lighter dog. So you can see what I'm doing. And maybe you can see, I don't know. The quality on my uh, laptop is that bad that I think you can't see what I'm doing, but I can be wrong, I'm not sure. I can only tell when this video is done and I can check it, so I'm not sure if you guys can see what I'm doing. Well, almost there. The rear again, whoa, way too many bands. Well, doesn't matter, I guess. Ah, he doesn't want to. I only want to stick it through two bands, not three. There we go. There we are. <clears throat> so every band is pulled through. I'm going to start in the neck by grabbing this band first. Pull it through. Then grab the next band, pull through. Grab the next, pull through. Not too hard. You can still pull it through out of the other side. So pull through each band. it through, through, and we have to do this until you reach the tail, and then we will do the other side. So don't do this around, but until you reach that single band near the tail. We will start in the neck again and do the other side. That will look better if we do it that way. So simply pull through those loose bands. Now we are at the rear, so pull through that single tail bend. And grab a hook or something you can stick in there. You can also use a pencil or so it won't come loose. Now we're going to do the same thing. We're also going to start where we pulled the first stitch through this, this band here in the neck. But you have to stick your hook through that band again and then grab the other side of the neck. You might need to help it out a bit. <coughs> this looks weird. 
doing it this way. Well, it's good this way, but I had my hook through the wrong way. Now we're going to do the other side. Yeah, that's better. So you're starting with the same band you started with before. <coughs> I'm sorry guys. Pull every band through again. And simply do this until you reach the tail part again. Is that it? No more loose bands? I don't think so. Now you can actually pull through this band or no. Wait a second. Stick through your hook through that last band and grab the tail band and pull it through. <coughs> like this. Now your dog is stitched. The neck and everything. Uh, stick your hook through uh, the stomach here and try to reach for that single band there. Pull it through. Grab a, another C-clip or find that same C-clip inside, but I'm grabbing another one. Get it around there and kind of stuff it into the stomach. If you can! So it will be hidden. There we go! Your own Doberman. It will look very weird because he will have his neck like this. So I do recommend to check the link in the description below to my um, how to wire your loom pro project tutorial because then you can position the neck up and curved so it will look better this looks kind of weird almost like he's sniffing but it's also cute I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and uh, check the links oh gosh that's why it was weird I forgot a single band there. Well, what to do when that happens? Yeah, what can you do? You can clip it off. It won't come off anyway. You know what? I will do that. Ah, like you see, I missed one. Yay! Finished. So that will that will never never matter if you skip any. It won't come off so uh, check the description below uh, so you can see how to wire your um, dog so it can actually stand and be posed and the legs can be bent in the correct position the tail can face up or down his neck can be um, well in any direction up curved or straight and down of course so check out that tutorial if you like uh, to wire your project and I hope you guys enjoyed this um, two-part Doberman tutorial Debbie I also hope you loved it and I will see you in my next tutorial um, next week that will be the perk guys so look forward to the perk and uh, like, subscribe, share, thumbs up if you like this. And I will see you in my next tutorial, guys. Have fun. Bye-bye.